Namaste. I'm Vanessa Rudge from Being Yoga and I'm a lover and a liver of Vinyasa Yoga and Krishnamacharya who is considered to be the forefather of Vinyasa Yoga really described Vinyasa as anything that has a beginning, a middle and an end. So that's going to be the crux of our practice today and it's really um, demonstrated on the breath beautifully. So you go ahead and take one hand onto your belly and one hand onto your heart and allow your breath to deepen and lengthen. Inhaling down into the belly is the beginning and then the middle chest and then the upper chest. So the, the hand on the chest should move second. So as you inhale, you'll feel the belly expand first. That's your beginning, middle, and then end is to the upper chest. And exhaling out, trying to exhale from the hand at the chest or from the chest, and then the middle, and then the end. And continuing with this, you can close your eyes and allow yourself to start to be mesmerized by the breath. Life, the modern world is often calling us out and drawing our attention outwards. So yoga can be this beautiful antidote and drawing your attention inside. And the breath is really by far the greatest tool for this. Another aspect of this practice today is going to be slowing the breath way down and slowing the movements way down to match that slow, delicious breath. So we can actually set up a, a movement now. It'll become a movement meditation. So inhale the arms up overhead and exhale slowly down through the center line. So what you want is to imagine the movement. So the inhale is expanding the arms out and the end is where the palms touch overhead. And then the exhale is that movement down. So you could imagine dividing the movement into three parts. So finding your beginning, that expansion, the middle, the rising up, and the end as the hands touch one another. And exhaling down the midline so you've got less distance to travel, which means that the movement is going to be slower. And really savoring this. So go ahead and close your eyes once again. And now that you've got the movement, you can let it be this mindful meditation, really taking both the breath and the mind into the movement. And there's this complete union. Remember, uh, yoga means union. So we're looking to unite body, breath and mind together and, and entwine them into one experience which is incredibly potent. If modern day life is this dispersion of energy and we're sending texts and emails out to all different people in different directions from that dispersing, let us return into this oneness. Oneness of the moment being completely present still staying with the slow breath, beginning, middle and end and exhaling, beginning, middle and end, maybe as the thumbs nestle against the breastbone and continuing on with this. So, Really the crux of it is to slow the breath way down and if you're finding that it's a bit, my movements are a bit slow, then match your breath to the movement, to your movement, 
but know that breathing slowly is an important life giving quality. So turtles breathe maybe two times a minute and live for up to 200 years. In the Chinese philosophy, they say that we're given a certain amount of breaths at the beginning of our life. And you wouldn't want to rush your breath because then you're rushing to the, the finish line, rushing to death. So really bringing in this slowness, this steadiness, this unhurried rhythm where you can be completely present. We'll take this a couple more times. And feel already how you're dropping out of thinking mind and into feeling body. Brush the thumbs over the third eye point and into the heart and pausing once again. Really feeling all the dust storm settling as you sit here steady and grounded. Your legs and hips like the base of a statue holding you solid to the earth. Feel the breath continue to rhythmically wash in and out of the body. And we'll move into the main warm up flow or main flow for the practice, which is coming in and out of deer pose. So if you, so I call this one beach pose, kind of leaning back and enjoying yourself here and have the feet um, a bit wider than hip width apart. And then you can drop the knees over to one side and remember to divide the movement into three. So we go beginning, middle and end as we go to the other side. And really as you slow the movement down, then it's going to help you to bring your mind into the movement as opposed to rushing and sometimes it can be good to contrast. So maybe just try a few quick moves side to side and see how that feels as opposed to really having that conscious movement and awareness of the vinyasa, the beginning, the middle and the end. So next time we go over to the right side you can um, position yourself into deer pose. So deer pose, you might like to tuck the left toes away from you. And you're going to kind of be pointing off to the side. So let's bring in that same movement meditation that we had earlier, inhaling the arms out and up and exhaling down through the midline as a, a centering, as a remembering. And on the third one, let's turn this into a side bend. So we'll be moving side to side. So the inhale lifts. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down onto the earth and lean to the right. Inhale back up through center and exhaling to the left side. So take care of your knees here. If you need to rearrange it all, you can. The other thing you could do is maybe raise the hips. That might be an option for you. Hopefully you've got plenty of space around that your style isn't cramped. And one more time. 
to each side, bringing the right hand down. Maybe you can even come down onto the elbow and start to send the arm um, alongside the ear and just linger here and get a little more length through the side body like your left gills are opening up to receive that breath in. And then inhaling and coming on up, savoring the entire pathway over to the left side. So this time holding on the left side, you can cup the head with the hand and on an inhale, move the right elbow back, kind of like onto a back, into a back bend. And as you exhale, take the elbow to the knee. And so it's not so much just in the shoulder, but rather imagine yourself going over this um, like a beach ball and inhaling to open and leaning back a little more and exhale, elbow to knee, but creating a, a C shape through the spine. And one more time like this, inhale to open and exhaling to fold. And this time as you open, you can send the right arm alongside the ear and then inhaling to rise up, palms touch. Exhaling, take the hands down around behind you and try and again connect to that um, base and be heavy like granite down into the earth. And from there, find a buoyancy as you lift through the chest, support the head as you arch back. And then like tracing a circle of light around you, you can stretch the arms forward and come into a forward fold as best you can. For me, I like to take the right hand out. So they're kind of, uh, the arms are at a bit of a right angle. And from there, I can then try and sink the left hip down. So see if that works for you. Bow the head forward and return to that turtle pace of the breath. Inhaling to create the length in the spine. And maybe as you exhale, you can find a melting opening as you move towards the earth. And then inhaling to make your way up. Again, drawing that circle of light around you. And this time, either staying with the hips on the floor or if you're able to, lifting the hips and rising up into kind of like a um, camel variation. And then lowering yourself down. Once again, circle of light, bring the arms forward and coming up towards a uh, this right shin so then you can reach back right, and catch hold of the left foot and start to kick the left foot back as well as spinning the chest open to the sky so finding your steadiness through your granite base and a lightness like a helium filled balloon through the chest spinning and opening and then releasing and touching down. You can bring the right hip down and bring that left leg across and into Ardha Matsyandrasana, the spinal twist. So wrapping the right arm around like a sweet hug and then pulsing with the breath. So you can uh, inhale and turn and look back behind you. And as you exhale, maybe even bring the forehead to the knee and round through the spine a little. Inhale like a flower opening, turning to the sun. And exhaling, coiling back into yourself. And one last time. Inhale. And exhaling. So even though we're moving constantly, you can unravel the legs and return back to this um, windscreen wiper movement. So even though we're moving constantly, it actually should be incredibly nourishing and um, kind of massaging for the nervous system. 
uh, for activating the relaxation response. Slow, mindful, aware movement is going to really help to be more relaxed as opposed to rushing here and there and activating the fight or flight response. So just before we come to the left side, let's come into a reverse table. I'm just going to turn, you don't have to. Uh, so either choose to have the fingers facing forward or out or be on the fists if you wanted to, and then lifting the hips up. So you could relax the head back if that's okay for you. Focus on grounding down through the heels and lifting the hips up nice and high and find a full opening through the front of the body and exhaling to lower yourself down and then let's take the knees over to the left side maybe do a little rearrange through the um, right foot if you need to and just twice we'll inhale and take the arms up and exhale down through the midline and again inhaling slow steady expansion and lift and exhaling that delicious centering and calming so this time turning it into the side bend inhale and sweep the arms up and we exhale to the left side, bringing the left hand down onto the earth and leaning left. Inhale smoothly back up. So it's kind of like as you move, it's almost like you're moving through water or on the moon, like that zero gravity experience, if we can imagine what that is like but there's um, a real ease that should be incredibly soothing for the body and the mind like a balm we will next time we come down to the left side let's take the left elbow down and get long so in case you haven't noticed, I am mirroring you. Get long and just focus on those right gills now, expanding and opening out. And inhaling back up through center. And over to the right side. This time cupping the head with the hand and leaning back ever so slightly. So you want to find this delicious opening from left elbow to right thumb. And then exhale and fold. And remember it's not so much in the shoulder, but rather imagine yourself folding over a beach ball to try and bring the elbow to the knee. And then inhale to open out. And exhaling. Find a, a rhythm and a pace that is right for you. So the breath becomes your teacher. Making sure that you're not skimping at that end point as well. We tend to skip the end part and just um, rush on to start new things. So lengthening out for a moment. And now inhaling back up through center. You can release the hands around behind you and just going into this feeling of lifting and buoyancy. So you could even tip the hips forward a little to find more opening through the front of the body. And then circling around and sliding the hands forward, coming towards your forward fold. So remember, I like to take the left hand out to the side here and um, use that left hand for support to try and find that uh, contact, though it's probably not going to touch the floor. The right hip is okay to be lifted a little. 
staying here a few breaths and letting the breath and the shape that you've taken start to really nourish your body, nourish the cells and the tissues, every fiber of your being soaking up this relaxation, this relief. And then making your way up and if it's available to you going into this deeper back bend so the hands come behind and you can inhale to lift and open actively pressing the shins into the floor to lift and open a little more and then lowering yourself down and coming up into this um, gate pose, finding a steadiness and through your base and kicking the back foot back, spinning the heart to the sky. And then lowering the, your self down, the hips down and crossing the leg over. So coming towards your a spinal twist. Inhale to open and look over the right shoulder. And as you exhale, curl into a little ball. Inhaling, opening out like a, a fern unfurling and opening. And one last time. Curling in to yourself. You can then rela uh, release the hand around behind you. Let's again come into this reverse table position and opening out. Exhale to lower down. And before we finish, just take this Again, this palate cleansing movement side to side with the legs. And as the knees trace this arc, like the sun traces the arc across the sky, try and feel into the beginning, the middle and the end and savoring each and every part as you go. You can then uh, return back towards a seated posture, bringing one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly and closing the eyes here. Return to the pathway of the breath. Let it be completely mesmerizing. There is nothing else you'd rather be doing than watching this miraculous flow of the breath. The beginning is like the vessel of the torso being filled from bottom to top, like oil being poured into a canister. And then they're emptying out from top down to bottom. Finding a, a pace that is both authentic, but also nudging that edge, challenging yourself and lengthening the breath out, remembering how important it is to slow our breath down so that we may live longer. You can now bring the backs of the hands onto the knees and to seal our practice, let's circle the arms around 
as we have been doing. And exhaling down through the midline. And one last time. Maybe taking a moment of gratitude for this body, for this beautiful path of yoga, brushing the thumbs over the third eye, thanking yourself for taking this time, thanking the busyness of the world so that you may have this contrast of the inner sanctuary of quiet, of calm, and that you may re remain steady in that as you go back out into the world. Namaste.